at ETH at Zurich, we have a, um, a multi-level approach to energy research. On the one hand, we have a critical mass of uh, researchers and activities in all the key uh, domains of energy research. So energy efficiency, energy provision, energy storage, uh, smart grids, and uh, the economical, social, and environmental aspects. And this is uh, enhanced uh, by the newly constituted uh, Swiss National Competence Centers for Energy Research, and of course by the many industrial collaborations with uh, Swiss and international companies. As a society, as a scientific community, we face two challenges, I believe. On the one hand, uh, we need national and international mechanisms that foster a reduction of emissions by reducing energy demand, by uh, improving efficiency in production and use of electricity, by implementing existing technologies, use of renewables, carbon dioxide capture and storage. Um, Secondly, we want, of course, to improve these existing technologies and to develop brand new ones. We still use 80% of fossil fuels as a primary uh, energy source. And um, when we burn one kilogram of fossil fuel, we produce three kilograms of CO2, which means that when the energy demand increases, also the CO2 emissions are going to increase, effectively doubling until 2050, uh, and thus causing um, major global warming and harmful climate change. So our students um, have really the possibility to apply what they learn in classes in a number of projects where we try to, to make them appreciate the interdisciplinary nature of uh, energy problems. I study mainly adsorption processes. It's a specific type of uh, carbon capture technology. So basically we have materials, solid materials, such as these. They're, these are small pellets. What I do is to try to study the fundamental science, understand how the thermodynamics and the kinetics can be exploited to have a good process. Mm -hmm. So because you have another one there and another one on the so top. In my group, among other things, we look into um, a specific issue related to energy, which is uh, carbon dioxide capture and storage. Um, carbon dioxide capture and storage is a system of technologies whereby CO2 is uh, uh, captured from the flue gas of power plants or industrial plants, transported to a storage site, and then stored uh, deep underground in uh, suitable sealed geological uh, uh, structures where it stays virtually forever. We are looking for a, a geological setup where we have a porous rock formation, for example a sandstone, that provides space for, this, for the storage of the CO2. And on, on top of this we need a so-called cap rock, a tight layer of rock that prevents the CO2 from moving upwards. And uh, now this section of our geological strata here is what we see in our showcase, is a zoom in into this sandwich construction. The CO2 had been injected at the bottom of the sandstone. It then moves upward slowly, slowly from pore to pore until it reaches the cap rock where it has to spread horizontally because it cannot move up anymore. Great for each of the species. What I'm most proud of is really the students that we form. The young uh, people who get a master degree at ETH and a PhD at ETH, they um, are going to be uh, creative innovators and strong advocates of sustainability for, the entire, for their entire professional life, uh, wherever they decide to, to, to engage uh, their talents.